in this demo, we're going to go through how we apply our text and leader styles uh, using the annotative feature in AutoCAD. Um, so now that we've, we've got our text style set up, so we've got all the, the different uh, styles and sizes, we've also got our two leader style setups for a furniture tag and our leaders for notes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put in the room tags on our floor plan. So the very first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that I am on the correct layer. I'm on my A Anno Note layer. And then I'm going to go down here to the bottom and I'm going to look for this area, which is the annotation scale. And by default, it's typically set at one to one when you're working in model space. When you're doing annotation, you need to then tell AutoCAD what scale the drawing will be printed at. So we're going to uh, select this pull down here and find our one eighth of an inch because that's the scale that this plan will be at. So then we're going to go in and we're going to go to our annotate tab here and we're going to put in our multi-line text and I'm going to just kind of put in a few of these room labels and put on my caps lock and this is the kitchen. Let's move this guy around just a little bit. And let's put in our breakfast area. And let's go over here and do the dining room. We'll just do a few of these. Okay, so I've got a few of these placed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let me go into my paper space here for a minute. What I have is I've got an overall floor plan, then I'm going to do an enlarged plan of the kitchen. And I'm also going to do an elevation of the bathroom. Now, each of these drawings are done at um, three different scales. So we're going to do a one eighth of an inch plan, a one quarter inch enlarged plan, and a one half inch elevation. So let me go back here to model space for a minute. Now with text, what you can do, you can assign multiple uh, text scales to text. So for example, we're going to do an enlarged plan of this kitchen. So I, I can assign two different annotation scales to that. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go into the properties here. And what I want to do is click where it says annotative scale and click on this button over here. And I'm going to click the add button because I've already got one eighth of an inch. I'm going to add one quarter of an inch as well. And then click OK. Now um, you're going to notice that when I roll over the kitchen area, I get this double uh, kind of section of the, the architectural scale. When I go over the breakfast area, you only get one. So this is how you know that there are two scales. So let's go back into our paper space here for a minute and take a look at what we've got. So now what we have is we have kitchen in both areas and the text when I would plot this sheet, this text is going to come out at the same size um, even though the drawing is at two different scales. So let's go back in to model space now and let's put in some notes. Let's use our notes leader style. Let me switch over to that. and we're still working at one eighth of an inch, so let's say I'm going to put in a note here about um, this desk area, and I'm just going to um, click on the multi-leader button here, and then you have the option when you're putting in a leader to either have the leader, um, the arrow first, or the content first. Uh, and if you read the command prompt down here, you can uh, read what you need to put in. If you type in C here at the command prompt, you could put the content in first. I'm going with the uh, the arrow first. So I'm going to just put in my arrow and I'm just I'm just going to put in built built in desk. Okay, so there I've got a note. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put in a note about the kitchen and I'm going to switch my scale from one eighth of an inch to one quarter of an inch and I'm going to put in another note. I'm going to again go to multi-leader and I'm going to put in a note here that this is a side by side refrigerator. You know, I don't know if I can spell. Okay. 
So now you can see right now that these two uh, pieces of text look very different in size in model space. But let's see again what happens when I go into paper space. So now, and I'm going to move this uh, viewport over so that we can kind of see them next to each other. You can see that now that the drawing is scaled, the text is the same size. So AutoCAD is automatically scaling the text based on the paper space size that we've told it we want the text to plot at and the scale of the drawing so that it'll all come out the same. So now let's go into our elevations here, go back into model space, and we'll add in a um, third size here. So we're going to switch now our annotation scale from one quarter of an inch to one half of an inch. Let's scroll down here a little bit. And then I'm going to put in a note. Um, I'm just going to put in that this is going to be four inch tile surround. Doesn't really matter at this point what the note is. And again, you can see that it's going to adjust the size so that it's the correct scale um, for the scale of the drawing. So you really just have to, um, when you set up your style, you need to set the the text height that you want it to plot, which we've set it at 330 seconds, and then you just have to tell AutoCAD what scale the drawing is going to be when you're putting the text in. Now, let's say I was working in the enlarged floor plan, and I had left my annotation scale set at one quarter of an inch, and I went in and I put a note in the bathroom here, and I'm just going to put mirror. Okay, so now this one is too big, and let's also take a look and see what happens when I go back into paper space. Now, when I look at this elevation, you'll see that my mirror note isn't even showing up. And what happens is, is you want to set your annotation scale in your viewport. So if I select this viewport and I go over to Properties, you can see that the scale um, of the drawing is one half of an inch and the annotation scale is also one half of an inch. So it's only going to show text that is set to one half of an inch. So now do I have to retype that note? I really don't. I can go in and I can change it. Let me go back to model. And if I select this mirror note, I can go back into properties, find the annotative scale, click on it, click our add button, set it to one half of an inch, click on one half of an inch, there it is, okay, and then I'm going to delete this one quarter of an inch. And now you can see that the text has been resized to be the correct scale. So again, let's go into paper space and take a look. I'm going to stretch my viewport up so we can see it. But you can see that it's now showing both pieces of text and they are both the correct size. Now I want to go back into model space and I'm going to put in a furniture tag using our other um, leader style that we created. So I'm going to switch from notes here to furniture tag. Now again, I want to go back down here to the bottom and set my annotation scale to 1 8 of an inch because that's my furniture plan is going to be. And then I'm going to hit multi-leader and put in my tag, and we'll just call this one table one, and we'll put in another one. This will be chair one. Just move this guy over a little bit. And again, you can see that it is sizing the text correctly to the right size and we've got our dot like we want based on our CAD standards. So it, it's really fairly uh, straightforward to put the text in using the annotation scale especially if you've got the styles set up correctly. And in another demo I'll show you how to do the dimensions but it works much the same way.